Previously, we have seen in correlation spectroscopy or the COSY spectrum that protons which are germinal or vicinal to each other show COSY correlations. The evidence of which can be seen from the coupling constant values in the proton NMR spectrum. The correlations from the COSY spectrum help us in identifying small spin systems. But what if we could extend these correlations or connectivities across the whole spin system in which protons may be coupled or showing correlations with protons that are more than three bonds away from each other. This can be done with another two-dimensional NMR technique which we call the Total Correlation Spectroscopy or abbreviated as TOXI. So this is the technique that we were going to discuss today. So let's begin. TOXI or Total Correlation Spectroscopy is also known as HOHAHA which means homonuclear heart main Hahn spectroscopy. Again, it's a homonuclear two-dimensional NMR technique in which correlations between scalarly coupled protons can be observed. You already know about the COSY spectrum. So TOXI is just a long-range COSY in which you can see correlations between protons that are more than three bonds away from each other, but they should exist in the same spin system, which means that the correlation can be extended across the whole spin system until we have hydrogens attached to carbons, just like this. But once we have a quaternary carbon or a heteroatom, then the spin system breaks. So, for example, this H can show toxic correlation with this proton, which is one, two, three, four bonds away from this one, but it cannot show toxic correlation with this one because in the center we have a quaternary carbon, which breaks this spin system at this point, and so protons only in this spin system can show toxic correlations. But if we have a CH or a CH2 here as well, then this proton will also show cozy toxic correlations with this proton and it will also show toxic correlation with this proton because now they all belong to the same spin system. But all of these correlations mainly depend upon the mixing period during the pulse sequence. So if the mixing period is very small, that is 20 to 30 milliseconds, then we can only get a cozy type of spectrum in which we only see correlations between germinal and vicinal proton. But if we have a longer mixing period, then we can see correlations between more distant protons as well. For example, at about 80 to 100 milliseconds, you can see correlations between H1 and H6 of the carbohydrates, which means that you can see protons correlated with each other in the whole carbohydrate ring. Let's see how we can read the toxic spectrum and interpret it. So here is an example of a 2D toxic spectrum of this molecule, which is well known, I'm sure to you. It's acetyl salicylic acid, that is aspirin. And here we have the 2D toxic spectrum. And just like COSY, which has a diagonal that runs across the spectrum, this toxic spectrum also has a diagonal representing all the proton signals that have been drawn here as reference. And just for your convenience, I've labeled these carbon atoms from one to six, and the same proton signals have also been labeled just for your convenience. So let's see the correlations. We start correlating just like we did in COSY. So this is the proton NMR spectrum right across the diagonal, and the contours above and below show the correlations 
So you have to actually draw squares again. So you start from here, go to the right, and then meet here, and then go up, left, and down. You have this square, which means that the proton resonating at about 7.18 is correlated with the proton resonating at about 7.36. You can also see these values from the right, from the vertical scale here. So one is resonating at about 7.17 and the other is resonating at about 7.35 or 7.36, right? But this is not the only correlation that the proton at 7.16 shows. If you go down from this diagonal and extend this correlation down here you can see that it meets another proton that is resonating at about 7.62 and then you go to the left and connect this proton so we have another square here just like this and then you go down further you will meet another proton that is resonating at about 7.92. And you can see that if you go left, you meet the diagonal at the same point where this proton lies, which means that the proton at 7.16, which has been labeled as 3 down here, shows correlation with the proton at 7.35, which has been labeled as 5. So you can see this is a long range coupling. It also shows correlation with the proton at 7.62, which has been labeled as 4. So this is a normal vicinal coupling, but the correlation between 3 and 5 is not vicinal, it's actually meta coupling that is 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds away. And then we have another correlation at 7.92 that is the proton number six here it is so that's actually para to proton number three which means that they are one two three four five bonds away but they all belong to the same spin system you can see starting from h3 to h6 there is no quaternary center in between or no hydroatoms in between but if you see here is at carbon number one and carbon number two they are quaternary centers so this spin system actually starts from three and it ends at six it cannot go beyond six or beyond three because both of these carbon atoms one and two they are quaternary center right so you just saw how we can read the toxic spectrum for a molecule now let's see another proton here, this one, that is at 7.35, the proton number 5. Just looking at the spectrum, we can assume that it will show correlation with H6, H4, and H3. Let's see if it has three correlations. So you go down here, and you meet 7.62, that is actually proton number 4, so 5 showing a correlation with 4, that is vicinal. And then you go down here, it meets 7.92, that is H6. So 5 shows another vicinal coupling with H6. And if you go right, it shows correlation with 7.35, that is proton number 3. So here it shows the meta coupling or the long range coupling. Right, so you can see all the protons. In the spin system if you have a sufficiently longer mixing period now the same compound will have a different cozy and you already know that we only see germinal or vicinal protons in cozy this is an aromatic ring and it does not have any germinal protons so all of the correlations that we should see are vicinal so 3 will show correlation with 4, 4 will show with 3 and 5, 5 will show correlation with 4 and 6, but not all of them will show correlation with everything. Like Just like this proton 6, 
it shows correlation with 7.62 that is proto number four and then it shows correlation with 7.35 that is proto number five and then it shows correlation with 7.16 that is proto number three so six shows three correlations three shows three correlations every other proton is showing three correlations so let's see how the toxic the, the cozy spectrum of this molecule would look like so there is the cozy again we have the diagonal going right across the spectrum showing proton nmr signals and the cross peaks above and below they show the correlations so now six should be coupled with five five should be coupled with four and four should be coupled with three so let's see so here we have proton number three if you go down here you will see only one correlation and that is with 7.62 which is actually proton number four and so you can see that three has only one proton in the vicinity so this is vicinal coupling and then you go down here that is 7.35 which is h5 it should show two correlations as i told you earlier five with six and five with four and it does show two correlations you go down here it meets four and then you go down here it meets six so proton five shows correlation with four and six you can draw it to the left just to confirm it and then you go to proton number four again it should have two correlations one with three and the other with five so you go down there is nothing else but you go up or you go right then you go through two correlations or two cross peaks one at 7.35 is proton number five and the other at 7.16 is the proton number three so four again shows correlation with both h3 and h5 and then we have proton h6 which should only have one correlation and that is with h5 so here is h5 you can extend it and then draw the circle the square right so this is quite different from the toxic spectrum in which we only see vicinal couplings but in toxic you can see all the protons present in a spin system so this is how toxic can be studied this is very useful in carbohydrate glycosides or relevant molecules we'll come up with another two-dimensional nmr technique next time thank you so much for now